All right, everybody. We're going to try a little bit of out. A little testing of thing. I was talking to before. And I got the uh, Works Glue Gun. That's part of the Maker X family. So there's the hub. All connected by a four-foot cord. But this is basically a, a battery under the hub. It's got temperature control on there. This is the glue gun itself. And it, it's shaped, actually, the grip is pretty good. I kind of like the feel of it. I glued a couple things up right now, but I'm going to show you how the glue up actually comes together uh, because I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, it doesn't, it's not like another regular glue gun. It's not like gun shaped. Um, also, I'm testing out a different glue stick. I'm using the Gorilla Glues. Um, and there, this is a, a, a different kind of a, a higher end version of theirs, 45 second uh, extended working time, impact tough, weather resistant, can be used indoors and outdoor projects. So this is supposed to be a bit tougher and more durable than your average glue, your hot glue. Now this is a hot glue gun, which means the temperature... Low glue, low temp glue guns are about 250 degrees ish. This gets up to 90 seconds, 400 degrees. So this qualifies as a hot glue gun, um, which means it works with these sticks. Uh, the sticks are actually versatile. They can work in cool and hot, depending on the temperature you're using. So if you're using a low temp gun it'll work at those levels and if you're using it in a high temp gun or you've got a versatile gun um, it'll do that this is a high temp gun so it's working and it works ideally for this attributes uh wood 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 plastic etc uh so far 90 seconds it's up to temp um it's i, I really like this because even though yeah there's a four foot cord uh, I mean, it's it's got a little belt loop and everything, so I can walk around and take this with me on my toolbox no matter where I'm going. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using this. I found a couple of tricks. As somebody who does furniture assembly, um, I do a lot of stuff with dowel rods, uh, little dowel sticks, and uh, they sometimes will send glue, little tubes of glue that are wood glue or that kind of a thing. And some of them are really sketchy, and I want something more consistent, and I want to use something that's going to hold a lot better. I've heard really good things from some other woodworkers about this glue, especially when it comes to dowel joints. So I wanted to try it myself. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any dowels or dowel joints to work with, but I thought, let's get a good idea of the bond you can get just from working with some pieces of wood. Uh, and, and, and so far... Put this right here. I just shut it off on myself. There we go. But like I glued this up about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. And I mean, this thing is really set. It It's not really wanting to break apart at all. I'm really liking the bond that this has. Because if it can have this strong of a bond on pieces that can be gripped and, you know, get a hold of and try to break it apart, talking in a joint where dowel rods are, it'll fill that joint, fill the space. And even if they send smaller dowel pieces and the holes might be a little bigger, you're not getting a lot of direct contact, with a good glue like this, it will help keep it a lot more stable, a lot more consistent, give you a better furniture piece. Uh, when, when, when you're talking about gluing them joints up. That's what I'm looking for. I want to have something consistent, something ready to go, uh, something where I've got what I need versus, hey, did they send some little tubes in a kit? Do I need to have a bottle? Bottles go bad. Bottles get punctured. Glue sticks have a lot better longevity as they are, a lot more portable. So portability is the name of the game here. Consistency, quality in, in, in the joint. You know, most people, when they think of dowel joints uh, and woodworking, do not think of wood glue. I've had the opportunity to use it in different projects 
ranging from home DIY craft level to actually in a word work workshop. I, I used to work in a cabinet shop and, and we used wood glue for a variety of things from temporary, you know, holding things together. Uh, just, uh, we, we use it in a lot of spots, but that's where I learned, you know, they're like, look, when you're in these, and especially when you're talking about different kinds of wood or, or, or mixed component, mixed materials, um, wood glue can really do a good job, uh, holding those kind of things together, uh, as a permanent point, you know, especially when you like, again, we're talking about dowels. So, I wanted to give this a shot, and I wanted you guys to see. Um, this this particular one, you can see, I, I tested this. So this is a the smooth outer edge compared to the inner, if you can kind of get a grip there. So this is an end piece glued to the outer piece. So like when you have a butt joint, you know, you're, you're exposed to that end wood, and that's not usually the best get a good bond with, you know, because very porous, lots more air to get in there. Um, and, and, and yet, I mean, this thing is really resistant to being moved apart. Now this is, this one here is outside to outside, uh, just to test it. And, and, and again, much more, less porous, you know, it's not the end, the end joint stuff. The end part is it it in it, in this again also very good very tough joint here, um, but just to kind of show you how it works, it is just a simple trigger here. You push this trigger, and it'll come out in a stream. So we're gonna put it on this one here, and we'll just you know we'll make a make a few. Uh, lines up here very easy controlled and uh you got a 45 second work time so we're just gonna squish that on okay hold that together and this should come together again like the other ones did really nicely I mean, it's already starting to set. I'm not seeing, you know, you're not experiencing a lot of drippage. It starts setting really well right off the bat, as, as we would expect or hope it to. So, I mean, that's good. So, you know, this, I, I'm, I'm really liking. Ergonomically, I, I like the whole, the feel and the working of it. Because, again, I, I find the gun figure, the gun shape. Sometimes to be not as comfortable as you're trying to hold it or work with it. Uh, this is kind of, I, I don't know, it just works with your hand better. The shape of it, the trigger uh, is like almost like a paddle trigger on a on a grinder, you know, or something. I mean, you grab it and you hold, get a good, really hold, and you're holding the whole unit. Um, I don't know, it's, 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 it works pretty well. There's a little uh, power button. Uh, screen means it's all powered up. Um, here's the lit power button on the hub. You can see that. There you go. Um, that's nice. And, and now this bit of time, what has it been? 45 seconds, maybe a minute if that long. Uh, we've got it. And I mean, look at this bond already. This is crazy. This is... I, I, this glue I'm really liking. Uh, again, because if it can hold this well on this kind of a joint, it's going to do really well when you're talking about little dowels that are inserted in here because as they pull, pop up, the glue pops up from being inside the hole there, it's going to pop up. It's going to cut in between there and give you an even better bond without spilling and pouring and being really messy where you're doing a lot of wipe up, hoping that it don't drip out. Um, I'm really liking this. So the the high, incredibly durable, all temperature uh, Gorilla Glue stick, and this is the mini form. So this is like about a quarter of an inch diameter versus the full size, which is like almost a half an inch. So this is half the 
diameter of the normal. But it's also a nice longer stick. And you'll notice, for this long of a stick, it fits really well in this gun. This gun takes, you know, it's not like uh, only partially filling it or whatever. And it isn't sticking way, way out either. Uh, but, I mean, look at this. A minute, two minutes in. And gosh, man, that thing is on there tight. So, I'm going to say uh, this is going to be a success. The big thing is going to be when I get my next chance, and I'll probably do a full-blown video, but when I get my next chance to do uh, actually put some dowels in holes and test that out, I think we'll be all right. I think we're going to see something pretty cool. I'm hoping. I've got high hopes because I want to use this with some of uh, my projects that I do for customers and I want to have a good product, a good final result for them. Uh, and, and, and that's really the end result, meeting and exceeding expectations, customer realistic expectations. And I think we can do better than some of the really cheap little glues that they send with some of these dowel setups and these uh, furniture, uh, you know, needs to be assembled kits. Uh, I think we can do better than what they send. I think this is better, but we're going to find out. Thanks a lot, man. I'll talk to you later.